Good day, everyone. Today, we will talk about the different ecological relationships. But before I continue, at the end of this video, we will have a short quiz. Now, let us start by identifying what is an ecosystem. An ecosystem is consists of community of organisms interacting with their physical environment. It can be of any size, maybe in land or in water. Ang ecosystem ay isang lugar kung saan ang mga bagay na may buhay ay nakikihalobilo sa kanyang paligid para siya ay mabuhay. Katulad sa atin, kailangan natin ang tubig at hangin para mabuhay. Gayon din ang mga halaman at hayop. Ocean, forest, Grassland, mountain, and even a small pond are a few examples of ecosystem. Within these different ecosystems lies the different relationships that occur between the different organisms. One of the most common relationships is the mutualism. It is a biological interaction between organisms wherein both or all participating species benefit from each other. This is a give-and-take relationship. Both organisms give something and receive something in return. Ang mutualism ay isang uri ng ecological relationship kung saan ang mga organismo ay parehas na nagbibigay at may tinatanggap sa bawat isa. Parehas na may nakukuhang benepisyo sa kanilang pakikipaghalobilo sa bawat isa. For example, a crocodile and some species of bird. In this picture, the bird cleans the teeth of the crocodile. On the other hand, the crocodile provides food to the bird. Both organisms give something to each other. Bird offered a service while the crocodile give food. And in return, both organisms also received something in return as a result of the service they provided. Bird has food, the teeth of the crocodile becomes clean. The positive sign means that both organisms benefit from each other. Sa halimbawang ito, ang isang uri ng ibon ay kumukuha ng kanyang pagkain sa ngipin ng buhaya. Habang ito ay kanyang ginagawa, Nililinis niya ang ngipin ng buwaya. Ang buwaya naman ay hinahayaan niyang linisin ng ibon ang kanyang ipin. Parehas ang buwaya at ang ibon ay nagbebenepisyo sa bawat isa. Another example is the bee and the flower. The flower provides food for the bee. After getting food from the flower, the bee flies away to another flower, carrying with him some pollen. And with this, the bee helps in the process of pollination. Sa sunod na halimbawa ay ang interaction ng bubuyog at bulaklak. Kukuha ang bubuyog ng kanyang pagkain sa bulaklak at pagkatapos nito ay lilipad siya papunta sa isa pang bulaklak. Sa ginagawang ito ng bubuyog, tumutulong siya sa proseso ng bulaklak na magparami na ang tawag ay pollination. Both organisms benefit from each other. Bee receives food from the flower, and the flower is being pollinated with the help of the bee. Next is the commensalism. A relationship between two organisms in which one benefits without affecting the other one in any way. Ito ang ecological relationship kung saan habang ang isa ay may natatanggap na benepisyo, Ang isa naman ay hindi apiktado sa kahit anong paraan. For example, a tree and a bird. The tree provides a place for the bird to live. The bird gets the benefit of living freely on the branches of the tree. In this relationship, the tree gets no benefit nor harm, which means the tree is not affected by the presence of the bird. Sa halimbawang ito, isa lang ang nakakatanggap ng benepisyo at yun ay ang ibon. 
habang nakikitira ang ibon sa puno, hindi apiktado sa anumang paraan ng puno. Wala itong natatanggap na benepisyo at hindi rin ito na peperwisyo ng ibon. Sunod ay ang competition. Competition of course when members of more than one species compete for limited resources like food and water, territory, and mate. Ang kompetisyon ay nangyayari kahit saan, sa tao man, hayop o halaman. Kadalasan, ito ay dahil sa mga pangangailangan na hindi sapat katulad ng pagkain, lalo na sa mga hayop. Minsan din ay nag-aagawan ng teritoryo o ng lugar na pagtitirahan. Example, The two predators compete for the hunted food. Sa larawang ito ay makikita ang dalawang hayop na nag-aaway dahil sa kanilang nakuhang pagkain. Madalas, nananalo ang mas malakas. Next are the trees in the forest. They compete for the sunlight and nutrients from the soil. This is one of the reason why trees in the forest vary in size and height. Ang mga kawi sa kagubatan ay isa ding halimbawa na nagpapakita ng kompetisyon. Nagkuunahan sila na makakuha ng init galing sa araw at sustansya o pagkain galing sa lupa. Parasitism Parasitism is a relationship between organisms in which one gets the benefit while the other one is harmed. The one that gets the benefit is the parasite while the other one being harmed is the host. Ito ang ecological relationship na ang isang organismo lang ang nakakatanggap ng benepisyo at ang tawag sa kanya ay parasite. Samantalang ang isa naman na napiperwisyo na minsan ay nauwi sa kamatayan ay ang host. For example, The tick lives in the body of the dog, making it its host. It gets all the food and nutrients by sucking the dog's blood. The dog gets no benefit from the tick. Instead, he is harmed. In this relationship, the tick gets all the benefit making it as the parasite while the dog is the host because it is the one being harmed. Sa halimbawang ito, ang aso ay ang host at ang parasite naman ay ang garapata. Nakikitira ang garapata sa katawan ng aso. At kumukuha siya ng kanyang pagkain at sustansya sa pamamagitan ng pagsipsip sa dugo ng aso. Ang aso naman ay walang nakukuha kahit anong benepisyo galing sa garapata. Other examples would be the lice, fungi, and many more. Last is the predation. This is a relationship in which one organism eats another for survival. Predator is the one that eats other organism, and usually they are bigger in size and stronger. The one that gets eaten is called the prey, who is basically smaller and weaker. Sa predation, ang organismo na mas malaki at mas malakas ay siyang nagbebenepisyo. Kinakain niya ang maliliit at mas mahina sa kanya. Predator ang siyang nangangain at prey naman ang kinakain. For example, this picture shows a cheetah chasing springbok for food. Cheetah is the predator and springbok is the prey. Another example is the tiger and zebra. Can you identify who is the predator and the prey by just looking the picture? Very good! Tiger is the predator while zebra is the prey. To check if you have learned something from this video lesson, let's have a short quiz. First, Question. A mosquito feeds off of the blood of different organisms. 
this usually causes discomfort to the organism and sometimes leads to disease and eventually death. This is an example of A. Mutualism B. Commensalism C. Competition or D. Parasitism You have 5 seconds. The correct answer is Parasitism. I hope that you got it right. Second question. Small fishes usually follow behind sharks to pick up food scraps that the shark leaves behind. The fish gets food and the shark is unaffected. This is an example of A. Mutualism B. Commensalism C. Competition D. Predation Again, you have 5 seconds. And the correct answer, we have the commensalism. Third question. Many lichens are composed of fungi and algae. The fungi gets sugars from the algae and the algae get water, minerals, and proteins from the fungi. Which of the following terms best describes the relationship between the organisms in the lichens? A. Mutualism, B. Commensalism, C. Competition, or D. Predation. Five seconds. Correct answer? Mutualism. As you can see, the fungi and the algae gets a benefit from each other. Fourth question. Which of the following symbiotic relationships is considered parasitic? A. They form in an intestinal tract. B. A man and a woman in love with each other. C. Pilot fish swimming under sharks. Or D. Birds eating insects from the back of the hippopotamus. Five seconds again. Correct answer, we have the letter A, tapeworm in an intestinal tract. And last question, a hawk soaring above a field hunting for a field mouse is an example of which relationship? A. Mutualism, B. Commensalism, C. Competition, or D. Predation. Correct answer, we have predation. I hope that you did well in the quiz. You may also write your scores in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.